Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. I see fire. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? What is that?
my guy wow g'day there welcome back to the race side we are talking all things acolyte today trailer dropping uh t- within the past tw- like how many hours ago seven hours ago we're gonna be going through our thoughts today and i want to hear yours even if we disagree even if we disagree can't wait for the discussion to happen today Wow, I mean, I that was like the second, the only like the third time I had watched the trailer, so I'm still pretty wowed by it. Pretty, pretty wowed by it. Uh, but we'll go be going through all the elements, some of the quotes. It's gonna be really exciting, uh, and I can't wait to do it with you here today. Who is in the chat? Before we go any further into our thoughts, we have Master Kirsty, Master CG, Master Yava, Sinister's here, Brian's here, Master Julie back there with the tooth pulled on. My good, you were in the wars, Julie. I'm so sorry, but I hope it feels better. Hopefully, they gave you lots of numbing cream. Uh, ben coming in. Uh, yeah, so much, so much is happening, right? Bad Batch is like still like within hours, like 12 hours away. Crazy days. Uh, Rose is back from all. Great to see you in the chat. Jansen is here. David, it is here. They fly now. I that was very funny in the Discord. Hey, how you doing? Lightning's here. Sinister's here. If I didn't say you already. Uh, Patrick in the chat. Can't wait to discuss. Gaffy is here. Billy is here. Chad in the chat as well. That was your sixth time. Man, you are flexing on me today. I love it. I love it, but it's a pretty damn good trailer. We're going to get into our thoughts before we do. Please, please uh, make note. I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this uh, and put a pinned comment in the live chat, but for the sake of today, th- sorry, I just realized the music must be like blastingly loud. For the sake of today and this discussion, please take note of the pin comment in the live chat and be extremely respectful. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have differences of opinions, people not liking it, people loving it. Uh, but we expect. Oh, that was super loud of an echo. Uh, but of course, we respect all opinions. And as long as you show respect, you are welcome here but let's get into our thoughts i want to know what you're thinking of this trailer i really loved it off the bat if you saw my reaction uh yeah it wasn't something because i haven't been connected to the characters or anything uh you know it's a little different to i think my reaction of say the ahsoka trailer which was pretty much this time last year almost this time last year uh where you know obviously ahsoka favorite character mind blown oh my god this is amazing uh, where we don't know any of these characters, or at least I don't know uh, any of these characters, or I don't think anyone really does. Uh, so it was very new. I was just absorbing all the information that was on the screen. Uh, but to be honest, I was wowed. I was quite impressed with the feel of it. It felt like a movie. It fe- it feels like this is a-, a trailer for a movie, honestly. And it, I'm now thinking like, oh, should have been a movie. But we'll make that judgment when we see the show. Uh, but I want to know your initial thoughts, good or bad. What did you think of this trailer? Let's get to the chat. Chloe coming in saying, trailer looks interesting. That is the key word I just hear everyone saying. Everyone's saying interesting. I th- I think that's a good word for it. Never really been exposed to the High Republic era before, so I am excited. We'll get into the discussion about like just the existence of the High Republic in Star Wars in a little later, because we mentioned it in our Masters chat uh, over the uh, weekend, and it was really interesting to talk about uh, High Republic, because it's something that I think is untapped uh yeah gifted to me a month membership i think it, it would have been either master yava or master master sin city I, d- I don't know which one it was but one of them they're very generous aren't they rose we love them here we love our race squad masters thank you kirsty uh yes that's another key point there's like a bunch of little pieces of information i want to bring up today and that was this was one of the big ones big 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 ones because the volume i mean we could do a whole show and just talking about the, the use of the volume in Star Wars and uh, the progression of it. In Mando Season 1, it was like the most groundbreakingly, mind-blowingly amazing thing to happen. And I and it's fantastic and it looks great. Uh, but as the years went on, you know, people started going, oh, it doesn't look that good. Now we know what it is. We can see it. And, uh, you know, people aren't too crash hot in the volume. So very interesting information coming out. There's no use of the volume. So all location shooting. Which, to me, I love. I love. But, you know, there's an argument to make, uh, you know, within Star Wars, you know, obviously, 
original trilogy, we're going to real landscapes, uh, shooting a lot of things. But then in prequels, uh, George was a pioneer of fantastic technology to advance like CGI and computer, you know, generated, um, you know, Coruscant, you know, just think of like how amazing is Coruscant, but it's all CGI. So it's, you know, th th there's definitely two elements of that within Star Wars. So it's interesting that, you know, we which way we we're going to take it in this show is taking it all real life, which I like. I think I'm on that side for. So I'm excited. I'm excited. BTD is in the chat. Great to see you here. Anna's back for more as well. I love it. Uh, yes. Thora, yeah, 100%. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. But uh, yeah, I don't think any of these Jedi are surviving, to be honest. I don't think we're going to see any of these chaps uh, by the end of the show. Uh, like, well, alive at least, anyway. Uh, Jay is coming in saying, I couldn't stop smiling the whole time. I mentioned this in my video. Uh, Amandala and Lee's characters were the highlight for me. I love the actors as a whole. They wowed me. I agree. Both those actors are real standouts for me. I'm really, to be honest, I think they're the only actors in this show that I'm really familiar with. Um, and I really love their, their kind of, you know, they are, they're very talented actors. So that's, that's a plus. That's a good basis. Uh, Ben's genuine reaction was the trailer was good, but not perfect. Just kind of like a standard good Disney Plus trailer we've come to expect. Yeah, I, I wonder if that comes under the fact that we, we're not super familiar with this time period yet or the characters or anything. Um, but yeah, totally fair enough. You're not super familiar with it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it didn't have any massive, like, mind-blowing moment. I do have to say the ending was pretty epic. The lightsabers at the end, really cool. I really loved that. Uh, but not a massive wow thing. I think the Ahsoka, again, the Ahsoka trailer, I think the fir that first one was was that to that effect. 100%. Uh, Mandalorian. I feel like they're overusing a trope. It's too marvelish, uh, they say. Uh, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited for anything outside the Skywalker saga. I've, uh, read, uh, I've read all three High Republic uh, main books. Uh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, that's a good. There's an argument to be made there. The, the, that kind of marvelly spinning offy kind of vibe. We'll, we'll get into that a little more. I, it's hard to for me to comment on that because I'm not too versed in Marvel shows, but I take your word for it. I take your word for it. Gaffy, what have you got for me? Intrigued. I haven't read the books, so getting into new characters in Star Wars is new for me. Yeah, you know what? It might. It could be good. It could be bad. Hopefully, it's good. But uh, yeah, definitely. I think there's a large, large, large percentage of people that uh, haven't been versed in High Republic stuff. I mean, I've only dipped my toes in it vaguely uh, over the past few years, but have really, really enjoyed it. Um, and, you know, for those High Republic fans watching, up the Vern, uh, shout out to Vernestra uh, showing up in this trailer. Glad to see it. Uh, Julie saying in, uh, coming in saying, excited, new era, new characters. I think that's the most... Uh, positive thing like I think that's the most exciting thing for me it's just like there's there's new elements to be told here there's there's new stories to be told here which I'm really excited looks more like Rebel Moon than Star Wars says Rob that that's fair I haven't seen Rebel, Rebel Moon so maybe maybe not I don't know mods are the ready yes thank you mods appreciate that I appreciate that on the ready thank you uh, you didn't like the costumes? Are you kidding? I was about to talk about the Boogie Jetta being like the coolest bloody thing I've seen in this trailer. So cool. Uh, when is the High Republic? Anyone know or all new characters? High new Republic is just literally just all the time before the prequels. It pretty much ends before Phantom Menace, like a, about Acolyte time, like 150 years before Phantom Menace. And it goes for like hundreds of years before that. So it's just like the whole era before it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much that time if that answers that. Uh, Kerri-Ann Moss is great. I hope the material is worthy of her talent. Yes! I haven't seen her a lot, a lot of things, but I, I know I've, like, seen her repertoire, and it's, like, like the overview of what she's been. I'm like, yeah, she seems pretty cool. She seems pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'll go back. Uh, I'm already so behind in the chat. I'm so sorry. Gaffy saying, I'll go back for the volume. Filming on location can cause uh, damage to important historic and cultural sites, as well as causing environmental damage. Oh, that's actually a point I've never considered. Depend. I mean, you know what? There's probably a massive issue with that. There's probably a lot of systems trying to be in place with that. That's an interesting point, Gaffy. I've never thought of that. There you go. There you go. Uh, can someone tell you if they're good? I can tell you the few I've read were fantastic. And I, if if I can convince you 
Uh, I was very skeptical. I am addicted to the Skywalker saga, addicted to the Skywalker story. I don't like anything different. I don't like change. And I was very skeptical. That is where I started with the High Republic. Uh, and that was my perspective, start again. Um, I read the first one, color me intrigued, read a few more and really interested with the depth of the galaxy that they were building out. It felt very Star Wars. I'm very critical of that Star Warsy feel. Uh, and for me, at least, I thought it, it, it fit into this world so well. It it built such a perfect basis of the Jedi trying to be good. And it, it's not obvious, but they're very, very slow, kind of starting to crumble, the ground starting to shake. They're not you know relying on the force they're relying on the power a little too hard and i thought that story was interesting to see uh so that's my take on the very few i have read hey yes we see how you're doing uh i'm very well that trailer it's good stuff it's good stuff uh lightning coming in saying i feel like your eyes can deceive you you must not trust them it's gonna be a huge theme of the show and again i think you know i, I don't have a lot to go off in my opinion uh of this show i don't know you know, I, obviously we haven't seen it. I can't say for sure exactly what I think of it. But the one thing is I... Hang on, where, where did I just put that comment? Um, it's like, I like that. I like its Force users. I like we're exploring things of the Force. I like that we're exploring uh, Jedi. And yeah, I, I hope there's a, actually a lot of storytelling around uh, the use of the Force. So I'm with you there, Lightning. I think that that theme could be quite, quite cool. Yeah, I play with it for a week and it's going, yeah... Yeah, but it is useful. It is good. I'm not. I'm not trying to shit on it too hard because I still think it's good. But I think you can overuse it. Yeah. Sedge coming in with the two dollar readers. Hello there. Thank you so much, Sedge. Appreciate ya. Can't uh, wait to hear your thoughts in the chat. Uh, Sinister saying, I don't know her name, but the actress who played Trinity from The Matrix is on this show. Looking forward to knowing more about her character. I haven't seen The Matrix. Who's the, who's that? Trinity from Matrix. Someone Google that for me. What's the actress's name? Um, but that's exciting. There's a, they're, they're, it's a pretty interesting cast. It's pretty studded. Studded? That's not the word I'm going for. Star, I think star studded. It's the cast I was going for. Or at least experienced cast. That's, maybe that's a better word. It has a cinematic look overall. I like it. The only uh, down for me was the length. Too short. Like the length of the trailer? Yeah, I mean, I thought for a first trailer you usually drop the big one and then teasers. Or maybe it's then teaser than main trailer. Because it was like a minute... 20 30 um but you know I, I would hope maybe for two minutes 30 but maybe we'll get a big one soon uh reminds you of rogue one yeah that's a good point patrick the colors like the genuine coloring of it very uh very rogue one -y. cg coming in with the 10 dollar redos underwhelmed very generic most jedi are women the men are diverse huge force is willing to give a hearing but extremely cynical all right yeah thanks so much for the ten dollar dues uh three fold path coming in saying a lot of action but not a lot of substance uh which i think might have had uh, might have been a mistake given how little one little anyone knows about the show yeah it's interesting i i did think that i thought obviously for a show of characters that we don't know too much about we should be getting into the I don't know, maybe some names or something. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. There could have been a little bit more, nah, but it's hard to kind of just be like, this is what the show's about in a trailer. But it, there could have been more of that. I totally agree. Uh, Jay is saying, also, this is the first time we will see High Republic in live action. We, of course, know it from the books and also mentioned uh, from Survivor. That's right. I always forget about that there was that element in Survivor. So seeing it in live action is going to be good. Imagine... I don't know the law behind what was that guy's name? Dragon or something? Dra Dragon? What was the villain's name in Survivor? What if he's in it? Imagine that. I don't know. There's a theory. I gotta I gotta line up the times and dates of his him being alive. But that that would be a great little connection. That would be hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, I really don't know why they had the uh, the old sitting right there, but decided to go with the bland and simple time period. What do you mean old? Oh, Old Republic? Is that what you're saying? Whole lot of flash. Uh, very little substance. Yeah, they could. They now that I think about it, they definitely could have done more to maybe explain 
a little bit. Uh, Shadow and Tail, a little bit of the time period of what's what's happening. It was a lot of just cool things to look at, 100%. Oh, Republic, there you go, who thought so? Thought so. Um, yeah, haven't seen Rebel Moon. No, haven't seen Rebel Moon. Uh, the martial arts looked amazing and sharp. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I, I liked the action. I mean, a lot of people are, are, have different opinions and are critical of certain ways things look. You know, to, to me, it looked good. I, I thought it looked epic. I don't know. Maybe that's because I don't know martial arts myself. I don't know if that's why, but it, it looks cool to me. Uh, James coming in saying, Wookiee Jedi. Uh, yeah. What's his name? We're going to get into the character's names real soon. I forget his name. It's a cool name, but I can never pronounce it. Uh, but so cool. I love this element. I love this element. Two dollar readers. Apparently a lot of legends uh, lore will be used. Yes, I predict that as well. I, I hear that. Um, and I think that's going to be a thing, which I'm excited for. I'm excited for. I'm not even, even super big into legends, but I'm like, cool. There's some really great storytelling in legends. So if it's along that same vein and kind of exploring expanding you know there's a reason it's called eu expanded universe uh if it's along you know in my mind this show is kind of along that kind of idea where it's like it's it's a widening of the universe in terms of uh what it's it's trying to kind of discover 100 percent hey christmas week coming in saying this is going to be the first film slash show not centered around the luke empire era right Well, we could argue that you could argue that Rogue One and Solo weren't. Oh well, hang on, no, you can't. They're both very Empire. Um, well, the prequels weren't. But I mean, like, I, I think I know what you're saying, and I think so. Yeah. So it, I mean, the f the first movie that's like in a totally different, like we're looking a totally different way. You know what I mean? It is, but it's so interesting because in in Mando One, it worked so well. But then if we like skip to forward to Boba or, and even Mando 3, like it was blatantly obvious. Like it was really, really obvious when it's like, oh, that's a giant screen. Um, so I don't know. I think it's because we all didn't know what it was. This is my belief. This is, it's because we didn't know what the volume was in Mando 1. So we're like, how did they do this? How, what is this? And we, I think we just, well, at least I assumed it was just green screen. Um, and then... I, yeah, I think now, I you know what it is? They shouldn't have explained what it is. They shouldn't have done that, uh, like, Disney behind-the-scenes thing of Mando. They shouldn't have explained what it is. I feel like the magic would have still been alive. But, because, yeah, it kind of has that, it's not that obvious. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 like, really obvious now in shows when it comes up. I'm trying something new with the way I rate and talk about new shows. What do I think about? Oh, what's your new way? What is your new way? Um... More like Jedi uh, decadence. I like, this is a good word. That's a good word. Uh, maybe they'll give a second trailer. I would believe so. And again, there's so much to talk about. Uh, the May re-releases of the Star Wars movies is going to be uh, the Phantom Menace has an extended uh, snippet. What do they? Uh, there's like a technical word for this. Extended. It uh, it look look to look into what's the what's the word I'm going for here? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I just a clip. I no, I don't think it's a specific clip, but I think it's an extended trailer. Uh, sh being going going to be shown at the end of the Phantom Menace in theaters, which is really exciting. Uh, I've, I know a lot of people being talking about this. I mentioned this. I think I tweeted it this week, uh, being like they have to show a trailer with Phantom Menace because it ties in. Um, and they are. So I'm really excited about that. I think it was super cool. I tell this to my place in the comments. There we go. Great, check it out. I really have to do a good job. But we have watermarks, uh, watermarks of good and bad in Disney Plus Star Wars shows. Uh, let's see where it lands. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, just a reminder. I am a gay woman, so the like the diversity thing. Like, you're not if you. Want to be like, it's too, like, I'm not the right person to be like, I don't like diversity, because I, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if that's obvious. <laughs> Carrie-Anne Moss. Yeah, I don't know enough of her. Is she cool? Is she cool? I love how people just, just said her name, Carrie-Anne Moss. I love that. I love that. 100%. Uh, is Trinity, and she is a Jedi who does not use lights up in this show. That is cool. 
That is cool. Is she the one that was in, there was like a short scene with, um, with Amandala? Is that, is that, was she that one? Was that who I'm thinking of? I don't know. I believe there's eight. I believe there's eight, eight episodes. Mid trailer says double A. Can't like or dislike. I need more to see. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was very kind of like, you know, <laughs> like pan in a town and woof, then a run here and the swing and a hot and the hey, acolyte. That was pretty much the, uh, that's pretty much the trailer in summation for you. Um, average trailer is approximately two to two point five minutes long. At least that's what I saw when it looked when I looked it up. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. That's why I was like, I, it must be a, it, it must be one of those uh, like a teaser one technically because this was like a minute thirty, I think, um, or maybe twenty even. Um, and I thought it was usually two point five. So yeah, I agree with you there. I thought it was going to be longer. Uh, but there you go. I sorry, I'm so behind in the chat. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to catch up. Sounds coming in. You're not missing anything, Rebel Moon. That's okay. I, it was never on my list to watch anyway, so I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. High five on that one. We're, we're, bi we're big fans of the show, don't tell. 100%. I don't feel like they need to explain much. Oh, this is in the conversation of, uh, you know, the information they're showing in the teaser. I uh, kept the cards close. Don't, uh, don't have to tell much. I have to wait and see. Yeah, you know, it builds that anticipation. That's a good point. Good perspective. Uh, hey, Tired in the Force. Oh my god, hi. Uh, which element do I love of the trailer? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about. Um, which element do I love? I think I, th it, it's a super basic answer. This is such a basic answer, but honestly, just the exploration of Force powers. Um, the quote, which I will misquote about, it's not about good and evil, it's about who's in power. I think that's a really interesting thought. And Star Wars is... At the cornerstone is the battle between good and evil, and the exploration of that theme is always something that works well in Star Wars. So I think that I'm really excited to see, from a Jedi Force user perspective, how they will continue to explore that. Obviously, that's explored well in the movies. You know, Luke and Vader, Palpatine, like that's explored well. And I think with, you know, on a on a smaller scale with these characters exploring the use of the Force is just something that. You know, we Andor was fantastic. Uh, Book of Boba Fett was pretty cool. Yeah, we've got, you know, Bad Batch, which is really enjoying, uh, like, I'm loving to watch. But I think I'm just, like, craving that Jedi, that Jedi touch, I think. So probably just the Force storytelling. I think that's going to come in. That's a good question, and I think that's my answer. Uh, but hey, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're dropping by. Love it. Um... Billy coming in with the five dollar reduce. Uh, Hollywood Reporter confirmed uh, timeline a hundred years before Phantom Menace. So, who is the big bad? Darth Tenebrous. Uh, I can't do it to his voice. Uh, Canon or Darth uh, Venomous? Uh, his secret apprentice. It's a bit. It's a big question whether they're gonna involve. You know, are they gonna do a name drop to Plagueis Tenebrous even? Um, I th I gotta yeah I gotta get my t days not days but years right but I I can't. Call, like I th is Tenebrous alive right now? He well, he would be alive. Is pa uh, Plagueis? He's around. He's quite old. Uh, I don't know the exact dates, but yeah, you know what are they going to do with these big names that legends or canon? You know, are they going to mention them? Is it going to be kind of the Andor of this era and go? You know, we're we're just focusing on this specific aspect or characters. It's interesting. It's interesting. But thank you for the five early dudes. It's a good time period. Uh, Sad's coming in, talking about the martial arts. Um, <clears throat> I think people criticisms criticisms. Wow, uh, with the martial arts is because the show looks like a dance, kind of choreographed, uh, which could couldn't be further from the actual practice. I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think it looked bad. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I I thought it was quite interesting. I, I like the style. Um, if you've read the High Republic books, it, it actually does well for a book, at least for words on a page, to describe the style. Um, obviously, going a lot more kind of strictly to the forms, where I think the the martial arts or the you know the style of fighting of Jedi in the prequels um, is something that was of that time. So I think it's natural that it's going to look different. Um, I'm not really kind of talking about like who stunt directed it but like in terms of like the actual jedi like in in galaxy the jedi are gonna i think move and and look different 
um, with their combat style. So I think that's natural, in my opinion. In my, that's my in galaxy kind of take there. Uh, we are. Uh, we will have a watch party tonight. Later tonight. Uh, three fault coming in with a five dollar readers. I'm gonna watch the show just to see if we get Keanu Reeves as Revan. That is possibly the best fan casting, and like people want that to happen. I, I do see that. I do see that. I mean, buddy, god damn, I'll give you a hundred bucks if that happens. Even more. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen, but uh, you know what? Imagine, imagine. It will be a great fan cast. But I thank you uh, so much for the five pounderoos, I should say. Not dollaroos, pounderoos. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Again, I'm so behind in the chat. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks everywhere else. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, that I agree with. Uh, CG coming in with the five dollaroos. The only Jedi I know from the High Republic in the prequels are Yoda, Oppo, and Sanube. Maybe others unknown. Yaddle? That's... That's like my one, if I had to like magically make a cameo and it was going to happen in this show, it would be get Bryce Dallas Howard back in that recording studio and let's get Yaddle on the screen in this show. That would be like my biggest like, oh my God, because off the top of my head, they would have been in production around the same time. It would have been awesome if like they just had Yaddle on the council or as a Jedi uh, knight to be like, hey Bryce, can you just like, if you're voicing it in her in Tales of the Jedi, can you just like pop over and do it for the show as well? I think that would be pretty sick. Uh, that's like my fever dream wish. Uh, but sorry, back to your, that was my ramble. Um, Sunube, yeah, freaking let's get him in this show. That'll be hilarious. And Oppo Renassus, is that his name? I don't forget, his, I don't know how to say his last name. Ah, that's good stuff. This is a great conversation. I'm going to have a great time. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to have a great time chatting with you all right now. This is amazing. Make sure you uh, drop a like uh, if you're loving the discussion so far. Lots of different opinions, but I'm um, thank you so much, everyone, for abiding by the respectful laws we have here at the race side. You're all doing a fantastic job. Uh, if you want more here, we're going to be going live tonight uh, for Bad Batch as well, but we'll continue with the conversation uh, for now. Uh, does anyone know if there's a significance to yellow sabers? That's something I'm not up with in my law. Someone else might be able to answer that in the chat. Perhaps. Perhaps. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Um, Lightning coming in saying, I'd rather I'd rather have an underwhelming trailer and a banger of an actual show uh, uh, than uh, the other way around. Yes. There was something that had happened with where the, the trailer was purely just all the good parts. And then, was that a movie? Maybe it was... I can't remember what it was, but I remember thinking that of like I that that doesn't work if you put all the best juicy interesting bits in the trailer and then the show's like oh this is just all the context around the trailer uh, that doesn't work well and so I agree I agree I hope they maybe our kind of criticism of like oh it didn't show enough kind of actually harping back to what Julie said um, they don't need to show too much in these trailers because it's gonna hopefully be a really cool show hundred percent. Yes, beginning, uh, beginning to vibe it. Fifty-fifty. You think fifty-fifty will see Plagueis? Damn. Who's who's everyone's fan cast for Plagueis? That's what I want to know. Who do we? Who would we get to play Plagueis? It's got to be Sin City. He loves. He loves being the. Um, what's his? What's his freaking name? What's t uh, what's Plagueis's? Code name, I forget well, like his real life name. Double A coming in saying if Plagueis shows up, uh, he had to eliminate all the Jedi that witnessed him or have, have information of the Sith returned. They have to be careful not breaking canon to fit the timeline up to episode one. Yeah, I see a lot of people on Twitter, especially kind of worrying about that. My uh, honestly, I don't think any of the Jedi we see will be alive in episode one, apart from obviously. Who we see in episode one of, of, of Yoda, Oppo. I think it's gonna, my bet, and this is like what I've read, like I've seen this online of, it's it's gonna be a very concentrated story of like the, who this Sith Acolyte is and the Jedi trying to stop them. Uh, well, her, Amanda, I think that's just who the Acolyte is. I think that's gonna be its own kind of like greenhouse of a story, if you will. And it'll be contained. 
And then may maybe, you know, this is kind of the cracks coming in. Maybe the, the story goes like this happens. They do discover her. They kill her. All the other Jedi die. Um... And the, the Jedi Council or whoever kind of sweep it under the rug, kind of being like, oh, there's an evil person. No, they, they, that couldn't have happened. That couldn't have happened under the rug. Maybe that is how it goes. Maybe. Tenebris and Plagueis are alive. <laughs> Tenny! Tenny! Oh, we have to change Darth Tenny. That's incredible. Incredible. Darth Tenny <laughs> in his 200s. Plagueis like 25. There you go. I wonder if Plagueis was still wrinkly at 25. There you go. The martial arts in the trailer is known as Tedus Cassie. Is that a Star Wars terminology or a real word terminology? That's my question. Because uh, I don't know. Bith. That's good. Good word, eh? Bith. He's a Bith Sith. Oh my goodness. Master Yava coming in with a 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much for sharing that generosity, Yava. Appreciate you and how you're uh, giving back to the community here. Thank you so much. I'm sure those 10 members uh, will love you for it. Dubs in the chat for Yava, I love it. Again, I'm like, st I'm still five minutes behind in the chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, right? Yaddle. Come on, let's get Br uh, Bryce, Dallas, Howard almost knocked it there. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm catching up. I'm trying to catch up. Oh, Kiari Mundi men mention. Do we need to get the hat on for Kiari Mun Mundi mention? Uh, do you think the person with the red lightsaber is a Sith or just someone who uses the dark side? Because Hyari Mundi does say the Sith have been extin extinct for thousands of years. Okay. You know what? Let's get the whiteboard out. This is going to make me so behind in the, in the bloody live chat. And I do apologize if I don't get to your comment. Uh, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This is my theory. Let me let me visualize this for you. I I am missing so many comments. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. So all right. Here's here's what I've. This is a, an educated guess of what is going to happen. This is my prediction of what's going to happen. So let's get the other banner on. Okay. We have we have the acolyte. <coughs> Which is Amanda Stenberg, I assume. Um, she is gonna verse these Jedi. Jedi, Jedi, Jedi. Um, she's gonna verse them. Right? That, like, that's... The story is... Discovery. Like, that's gonna be the bulk of the episodes, right? Let me try and get that line off the screen. That's the bulk of the episodes, is that, look at this side, the, like the episodes is, is th them like discovering each other, right? And only these Jedi will know, will know about this. And then the end, the end point, li uh, honestly, everyone dies, everyone dies. The, the kind of, what should I say? The point, the purpose, the, you know, idea to take home, I guess, it will be, um, essentially, within all this, like, this will be the interesting, flashy, sabers, cool part, this storyline. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're, they're all, they, they all die because of their interplay of power and who's killing who and whatever the hell. Um, and, but the end point is they, no one survives and the Jedi do nothing about it. Like, the, they, they won't do anything about these guys dying. And it was kind of swept under the rug and that's kind of the cracks of, like, the morality of the Jedi. That's my little overview here <laughs> anyway let's get back to the 50,000 comments I have to bloody catch up on <laughs> I love it I love the discussion it's a good time okay <laughs> okay oh my god where the hell do I go back to hey you chose mine in the chat how are we doing bad batches tonight yeah standard uh, temple guards yeah that's probably a good point I wonder if there's anything else to it maybe it's just that 
trying to catch up. <laughs> Ralph Phineas for Plagueis? <laughs> hey Robert, how you doing? Good to see ya! Yeah, Plagueis would be like 20, yeah. Yarl Poof! Oh my god, yeah, let's get that Yarl Poof cameo, come on man. He's in it. Do we, so that's the that's the four we know. We know Yoda Yaddle, Oppo, five, sorry. Yoda Yaddle, Oppo, Yarl, and Sunube. That's the five Skywalker Saga Jedi's that we know that's in this sh well, not in the show, but at, alive at this time. <sighs> Getting out of breath. Yarl Poof coming I know I love that. That's so good. That is so good. Yeah, Batu vibes. A little bit. A little bit. It's a good time. It's a good time. Die coming in with a five dollar readers. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. This is so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, I was asking which element because I know. I thought I literally thought that about 30 seconds afterwards. I was like, it's because it's element. Oh my god. Uh I'm imagining they will reveal Shadow Cells of uh Shadow Cells of Sith. Uh Terrace Cassie is an in-universe uh, martial arts. Okay, thank you. Wow, you answered like every question ever there. Um, but yes, I caught that. I was like, it's because he's Elmer. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, and Terrace Cassie. Man, I got to do a freaking deep dive on like all the forms now. I see a bunch of little videos on it. And I think I'm going to deep dive into it myself as well. Uh, really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, back to that. I mean, what you mentioned there about the Sith. Like, it's like, I feel like it's going to be a pocket, but it's not going to be big enough that like the whole Jedi find out or whatever. I think that's kind of got to be the story. Shadow Cell. I like that. I like that. Uh, thank you so much for the five dollar readers. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Yeah, hundred percent. My board of thought. You betcha. Uh, Sag coming in with the five gifted subs. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Master Sag, for sharing that race I love. Uh, has anyone brought up how they are on arc two? No, but it looks like it, right? Right? Like we're thinking it. We're thinking it. Right? We're thinking the same thing. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um, should we get it? Should we get it up somewhere? Oh my god, hey Indy. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Thank you. Legit, none of them are in the Phantom Menace, so they have to die. Like Ahsoka, she was in, she wasn't in Revenge of the Sith, so obviously, obviously she's gonna, uh, die in... TVW? What the hell is TVW? What the, what's TVW, my guy? Oh my god, me, you dingo. Hey Taryn, how you doing? The real Carl. I love it. I love it. Uh, I figure Arcto is being left to the caretakers for millennia. I know. And maybe maybe we see that tree that we see in Last Jedi. 100%. Hey, Trent. How you doing? The Bendu. Oh, my God. Imagine if the freaking Bendu's in this show. That'd be hilarious. Uh, oh, yes. I'm, I've been seeing the Plo Koon theories fly around. There's definitely a Plo Koon uh, looking character in this show. Oh, the Clone Wars. Oh my god. Classic. 100%. 100%. Welcome in, new members. Uh, let's get into some of the pictures. That sounds lame, but it's going to be fun. Because there's a lot of new characters here, so let's let's talk about them. Let us talk about them. Uh, we've got some new characters. Uh, the first of which, we have May, which is uh, Amandala. May gets swept up into a Sinister. Well, that's our key word for this group as well. Uh, we've got Sinister Maul. Sin City Sith. I oh, know it's not Sinister, but still. Uh, one that puts her into the center of a conflict in unexpected ways. The one thing Star Wars is really good at is making a sentence sound pretty flashy. Pretty cool. That's a pretty cool sounding sentence, if you ask me. Um, unexpected ways. Really cool looking. Honestly, did not even recognize her when uh, she first showed up. It was right, only right at the end. I think it was one of these shots. Actually, this is the Arc 2 thing we're going about. We think this looks like Arc 2. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. <laughs> oh, after that with Elisa. Yeah, I love Elisa. I, I absolutely love and all the love to her family. She's so great, isn't she? 100% Jane. 100%. Uh, but this is May. I thought that, I'm thinking this is the echo. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the next character we got is, uh, I forget his name. Lee Jung Jae. I think he's, is that his name? Uh, Sol. Soul. I like the short and sweet names. Soul. Master Soul is a wise, highly respected, powerful Jedi Master, strong in the ways of the Force, who is going through emotional conflict. Ooh, what might that emotional conflict be? That's an interesting. I like that. I like that. Uh, again, the High Republic looking. Like, come on. Like, you can't tell me that this shot specifically 
this looks like if we made a prequel to the prequels. If I was just basing my whole opinion on one photo, this is a great photo. This looks like a prequel to the prequels, 100%. Um, and again, I think a key thing maybe that's giving me that energy is the physicality of like the mats. You can see the little mats the Padawans are on and the, the steps and the pillars. You can they, like they, they're real. They look real. Uh, this looks really, really cool. Uh, but anyway, Soul, Jedi Master, Lee Jong Jay. Okay, got it right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Medalist costume is amazing. I hope we see some great cosplays. Yeah, it's good. Good point, actually. 100%. Does Neo become a Sith Lord? Who's is? Are we going? Are we coming across that? Who's these? Uh, then we have the mother. The mother. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Anesia. Mother Anesia is the leader of a coven of witches who value their independence and preservation of their beliefs and powers. Interesting. Very much Mother Talzin vibes. Um, I mean, coven of witches. Yeah, you know, like a very Mother Talzin vibes. So very much like Dathomiri kind of. Which is of Dathomir uh, energy, but I like how it's not. I love how it's a, you know, it's seemingly a different group of people, I guess, group of group of uh, beings. So I'm really excited for that. I hope it's that kind of, yeah, that weird witchcrafty kind of storylines coming in there. It's cool. Come in in. Looks like kids these days very mid. Mid mid is the word of the day, I think. Hundred percent. Uh, the next character uh, we got, Indara. We have Indara, who is in the hood. Master. Oh, it's a Jedi. Okay, I didn't actually know that. Master Indara is a Jedi Master of great physical and mental skill. Exciting. I mean, short, sweet, but cool. I like it. Um, cool. I mean, oh man, I should be wearing my Jedi robes for this as well. Uh, really exciting. Indara. Now, this is the character we've all been waiting for. Come on. Kelnaka. What a freaking name. Kelnaka. Kelnaka, a Wookiee Jedi, is a lone. Oh, oh. loner! That's hilarious. Uh, he's a loner who lives a solitary life. Very fascinating how that story kind of prompt is going to play into this then. Maybe he comes across the Acolyte. Maybe they find him again. Is he, in so is he solitary for a reason? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, child. I keep, I keep missing what's happening. Interesting, good, massive, terrific, uh, Kasi. Oh, there you go. Damn, maybe that sounds like my kind of game. 100%. That's quite significant, not to mention anyway. There you go. Uh, so they don't like the Jedi, and they're responsible for fighting creatures that cause a lot of uh, destruction, especially, uh, of the Jedi and during the High Republic. There we go. Yeah, me too, Ben. Me too, Ben. Hey, Tony coming in! The end of the trailer with the Sith and the Red Saber and the Force push on eight Jedis blew my mind. I That was an epic moment. Like, super flashy, but epic. I really love it. I really, really love it. I, I loved that scene. It was really cool. Uh, but we've got Kel Naka here. What a guy. Looking looking a little down, to be honest. I mean, they do call him a loner. Jeez, rough. Loner! Uh, this meme, who looks like he's going to be like one of my favorite characters, honestly. Uh, Yord, um, great name again, uh, a Jedi Knight and Guardian from the Jedi Temple is an overachiever, a rule follower, he needs uh, uh, to be by the book Jedi, can cloud his mind. There's a few characters like that already in the High Republic, I guess in Star Wars as well, uh, but he looks really cool. I forget this actor, but I feel like I know him as well, he seems super sim uh, familiar. Uh, but I, this is, I, I like how they're not just like generic Jedi. I feel like they all have their kind of quirk about them. W a rule follower. It's like, it, you need that in every group. Like think of, um, think of the Clone Wars episodes with the young Padawans, the, the younglings episodes. Uh, and each of those Jedi younglings had like a certain kind of characteristic about them. Uh, and you know, one of them was nerdy. One of them was overconfident. One of them was like really shy and scared. Uh, one of them was like not comf you know there's all these different characteristics uh of them and you know your sounds cool i like him what other characters jecky i don't remember seeing jecky in the trailer am i forgetting something am i forgetting something here how's it not coming there we go jecky jecky's up is the padawan apprentice to master soul okay there you go although she is young she projects a calm a pre she projects calm and conducts herself with maturity 
Uh, really cool. I think, you know, we got a lot of humans in this. Uh, I love to see some alien species. And th this is a cool species. Uh, is this not the same species as that character, again, from Clone Wars? Uh, in the Bounty Hunter group? I wonder if that's the same species. I'm not sure. I think she was... She was bald in, in Clone Wars, so I th maybe it's not. But her at least her eye patterning looked the same. Well, kind of reminded me of it. Uh, but Jackie, there you go. Great, great, cool, cool character names. Cool character names. Uh, Jackie's uh, Daphne Keen from Logan. She played X-23. There you go. Haven't seen any of those Marvel things, but 100%. Uh, this mother character in Acolyte has a similar face markings and uh, stands in the stance that the mother does. What? Well, of what? Mother of what? Yeah, that was, that was kind of hilarious. I, I, people are just predisposed to like be mad about it. I don't know. Sol has conflicted emotions and he has a Padawan and, some, and someone is killing Jedi. I don't like her chances of survival. I know I can kind of see this character trying like a little bit of a maybe a um, oh, what's his name in Clone Wars? Like uh, Kit Fisto's Padawan. What's his What's his name? Uh, J no, not Jafar. He was the bomb guy. Jakar? Was it Jakar? Was Kit Fisto's Padawan? Kind of has that en energy. Hundred percent. The mother in the path of the open hand. Oh man. See, this is why. I, so I'm I'm stuck in back in phase one, so I don't I don't know all these terms, man. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so that, that's cool. See, this is why i got to catch up on the, all the High Republic stuff. This sounds so cool. Yeah. Show some deeps with some why. Uh, yeah, 100%. Oh, let a, let a cult. Oh, okay, there you go. Anti-force cult in the High Republic. I wonder... So, the mo so okay. So, let's, let's get this straight. So, the mother... The mother is... A, a leader of a cult were well, witches and that's not sith that's not that's not um yeah obviously sith. so i wonder where they play into is it this a triad uh type situation jedi witches sith acolyte is that how it's gonna go it's kind of mandala like in the middle it's interesting it is interesting uh N nada Ned. Uh, that is what I was trying to get to. Yeah, Nada Veb, that guy. He kind of has that. She kind of had that uh, vibe to a path of a closed hand. Yes, there's a yeah. There's all that. Uh, Jay's got ninety dollars worth of High Republic books in your cart. Uh, once I get the money, the binge reading and homework time begin. I know. I, I think I've got to crank up some lore videos for you guys. I think we've got to get into it. I am excited. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I think. I think because there's so many elements of like the Force. Uh, different sides, who's on what, who's from what opinion. I think it's going to be crazy. It's, I think it's going to be crazy. Um, yeah, the costuming is fantastic. Hey, I want to know who did this show, actually, to be honest. Oh, okay. So the mother from the High Republic and the mother, uh, Anisia, from Acolyte is di are different people. But potentially fitting uh, the same role? There you go. There you go. I think it's uh, interesting to go from the path of the open hand uh, to a witch coven, given the mother was force sensitive. In the High Republic, was it? There you go. There you go. Man, we need we need some High Republic chats uh, up in here, I think. We we really haven't touched on it at all on this channel. It is insane. Insane! Um, but I'm trying to think of the last things I want to bring up. Uh, but no, honestly, I'm I'm ex so open for this show. I think I think it's gonna be Something that is just, again, my point of the EU, the the words of that, the expanded universe. I think this is what this show is. I think this is a visual representation of the EU. Expanded universe, we're going outside the box, which isn't something I thought I loved in Star Wars, but this looked like it can work. And I, honestly, like Tony said, that last shot, even if this show is just kind of flashy lightsabers and people fighting all the time, I'm here for it. I would love to see that. I would be totally, totally into that. It doesn't finish that. Dude, I think it looks exactly like it. Uh, she did say she infused a lot of the EU Jedi elements into this show. Yeah, and I think it's already showing to me at least. Yeah. Uh, especially if they bring in a lot of Legends lore. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they... 
They might do. I think there's, you know, there's kind of talk about how that's kind of involved. But I think it's less of... Um, what, you know, th they're taking this thing from the book into the show. Uh, because, you know, I, it's so funny. Like, I think there's a certain group of Star Wars fans that want that to happen, but then complain when it happens. So I'm I'm kind of of the opinion of I, I, if they can get the feel and the energy and the, and the kind of creative force, pun intended, uh, right with that with that energy of like this is an expansion of the Star Warsy, which again is a very subjective word of what is Star Warsy, um, how the, how they kind of pursue that energy, I think is is key. I was curious enough to see how the High Republic uh, Jedi Order governs the Order during this time. Not the prequels, Jedi Order, High Republic, uh, Jedi Order. That's a lot of Jedi Orders. Uh, what if they bring in, to, bring in the fact that the Jedi Temple is built on a Sith Shrine or something? Um, I, I, that's, I mean, they could mention that, but I, I'm, that was like millennia ago. That was like thousands of years ago, so I don't think... Like, I don't think that'll come into it. Kind of crazy. Um, but maybe that's mentioned? But that's like that's like a deep factoid lore piece there. I don't know if they'll bring that in. Sorry, I'm not even hitting the, uh, hitting the comments. Judging the show on its own merit. And try to keep uh, the off-screen comments as separate as it possibly can. Though a lot of people online won't. Yes, good point. Uh, gonna be interesting to see the saber fights. This, uh, this is Jedi in their prime, so it shouldn't be prequel fights times two. Yeah, I agree. I think I was trying to mention that before of, if it, you know, like, I, everyone's entitled to their subjectivity of, like, what they like the look of, but if someone's like, oh, it doesn't look like the prequels, I think that's a good thing. I totally agree with you here, Sage. Like, it shouldn't look like prequels fighting. It shouldn't. It look, it should look more, a lot more kind of calculative and, like, movement specific movement based um again i want to i want to jump into that martial arts that uh died the element brought up before i think that'll be cool um it, it is a lot of that kind of one two three like movement and shapes within the, their fighting and yeah it should look super different to prequels i agree the watch parties are gonna be fired they, they're gonna be a wild wild time i can't wait it's gonna be cool it's gonna be super cool uh, I do think that the temple we see in the trailer is uh, the Banshee en Enclave. It is a cliffside enclave that looks exactly like the one in the trailer. Uh, it's it's from the Edge of Balance manga. A lot of words that I am not familiar with, but I believe you. I believe you if you say so. Um, I want to. I do want to hop back to the Arc Two thing. I'm actually really fascinated if they bring Arc Two into this. That'll be really interesting. I would like that. I kind of like that. Dagon, that's his name. What did I call it before? Drag Dragon or something? I kind of wonder if you get any mention of perhaps of the Santari uh, Kree and uh, Dagon Gera from Jedi Survivor on the show. Me too. I think that'd be cool. You know, if they, they want to throw in some like uh, Easter eggs, cool names to maybe throw in there. Again, I don't know the timings of when those characters work because obviously it's like this weird time shift thing. Um, maybe that ties up. Maybe at least a mention would be cool. I think it's very bold. Uh, it's a very bold show. It will need to be written very well to succeed, uh, as the Jedi are a very sensitive subject in Star Wars. I agree with that. It's a sensitive subject, all right. Honestly, I don't think they stray too far outside of existing canon. There is a lot of story to flesh out. Yeah, it's also a lot on EU. Uh, I've heard it theorized as a potential way that Palpatine was able to hide from the Jedi. Uh, the Sith sight potentially clouds their vision uh, after time, perhaps. Yeah, I, I've heard this theory as well, and, like, concept. Hmm. I don't know how much they'll touch on that or explore that, but it's some, it's definitely something that's interesting. That's, you know, it's in this kind of wheelhouse talking about Sith, Jedi, and just before Phantom. It's interesting. Don't know the costume? Okay. Hmm. I was wondering if it was, uh, what's your face? That, um, I don't know. Could have, could have, it might have been something new, actually. Uh, will we get Yoda? Frank Oz kicking out? Yeah, me too. That'd be that'd be cool to get like. Well, the, here's the question: Would you get Puppet Yoda or CG Yoda? 
if you're just gonna be in it? That's my question. Uh, extremely low budget. How you doing? I was a little underwhelmed by the trailer. I was hoping it would be darker and I really wanted the focus to be on the Sith uh, from the Sith point of view, but I'm super open to it and excited to see where it goes. Well, yeah, that's because you're like a horror geek though, my guy. Um, but I kind of I kind of know what you mean. Like, especially with show being called Acolyte and the trailer, you're right. It was kind of from the Jedi point of view. Um, but I think it will be a back and forth. You know, I bet, because I'm pretty sure this was technically a teaser trailer. Uh, I think the next trailer might be a bit darker, perhaps. Uh, I mean, because you could say that the, the uh, poster they released day before, or yesterday or whatever, was super dark. You know, the blood-stained saber, like super cool. Uh, but yeah, fair enough. A lot of people saying the similar thing. Can't wait to be open-minded about it. Uh, so, who do we think the Red Saber is? Probably, probably Amandala's. What's her name? What's her character name? May, I should say a character name. May, there you go. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I mean, it should look like the prequels, but even more juiced up and fluid. I don't think it should be a slow martial arts dance. The, the show should co showcase the insane skills they have, speed and precision. Hmm. I have to I have to reread some of the High Republic books, see what they explain it to be. Um, but yeah, man, man, like I, I'm, I might agree, but I also might not agree. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Let's come back to that one. Hundred <sighs> percent. Obviously, uh, oh please to God no, God no. <laughs> yeah, what do we think? Yoda will be in uh, there for sure. Maybe my bets on CGI Yoda. I give me that puppet Yoda, man. It's it's like goated, man. Goated. Don't bring Yoda in unless it's uh, early on sending the Jedi off never to be seen again. I don't know. Give us a meeting with him in it. In all honesty, the trailer was solid. The premise seems interesting enough. Hopefully uh, we see Tenebrous or, or Tenny, as we love to call him here, apparently. Uh, Master Tenny. And Plagueis eventually, yeah, yeah. A, a mention. My bad is that we'll get a mention. I don't think we'll see them though. I don't know. Uh, do I think it's made, made more sense that the trailer was uh, from the Jedi point of view because the show itself will happen from a dark side point of view, and the show is not going to show its hand immediately. Yeah, that's a fair concept. That's a fair concept. Like if the sh it's it's back to that thing of show. A small amount of the trailer, a, a kind of a very, very specific point of view, and then the show's going to be much broader and wider. So that, yeah, that's a that's a fair point. Fair, fair point. The post, yeah, it was kind of fire, right? I kind of want it to be honest. I feel like, ooh, great word. I feel like the titular acolyte will be a adventurous type character, not a Sith themselves, but a tra but trained in the dark side. I agree. I don't think we're getting like the Sith like you know martial arts class here I, th I think we're getting I, I i think we're getting dark side characters and the exploration of not being light i think that's it but uh the titular acolyte uh will be ventures type character i that's a great actually that's a great description 100 <sighs> percent. what are we talking about we're talking about uh who the acolyte is it's vandalus master Cool the stuff Frank Oz under the stage at his age. Yeah, it's good. You know what? That's kind of a good, fair point. I think for that reason, bring on the puppet. I hope he does the voice at least. If he if he does come in, if he does come in, yeah. I don't I don't I don't think it would be done as that. I think it would be this kind of exploration of this like dark side evilness. I think it's this kind of exploration. Uh, the person with the saber is a master. Star. Okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There you go. Uh, this show is about the rise of the Sith, so we should see two Sith Lords of the time. Hmm. I kind of disagree with that. I think I kind of disagree in terms of, like, they're super set it up. Because I think, you know, Tenebris, Plagueis, Palp is the line. And this is why I'm like, this is its own greenhouse of a story. Where we're exploring just the... The differences, the difficulties, and the the you know kind of dark 
exploration of some of the characters. Like, 100% Star Wars lore, like, you know, the rule of two exists, but that's not going to stop certain Force users being like, I want to be evil. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of the whole galaxy doesn't know that, and the whole, you know, the Jedi Order might not know that. Um, but I don't think it's a thing of like, oh, there's hundreds of them, or, hundreds of them. But I'm like, it's it's an exploration of characters not agreeing with Jedi and try and, and becoming darker Force users. Yeah, I, I don't think it is about two Sith Lords. I don't think we will say that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's that explicit. I agree. Game of Thrones actor, there you go. I never spotted him. Curious to more about what he's doing. Man, I didn't even, yeah. I can't even remember in the trailer where that is. Thanks, Sinister. Uh, then it, there is one way it could uh, work. That is, Tenebris is uh, orchestrating this, and the Acolytes Master is one of the people. He is training, uh, he's training to potentially be his apprentice before choosing Plag Plagueis. You, you know what? That could work. That's actually a really great thought. I like that. I like that. That could be cool. Hey Dominic, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Darkness to me indicates the rise of the Sith. The show takes place during the fall of the Jedi era, after all, but we'll see. Because I think it will... I don't know. It's like, I think because the prequels show that fall um, and kind of take over the Sith, I don't think the story needs to be that. I think the story needs to be this kind of... It's almost like a character focus. Character hyper study a study of, of of you know heart of character and you know i think we have the jedi master soul who they say is like a little they don't call him unstable what do we call, emotionally you know a bit bit uh risky i don't know uh and then they have these you know sith wheel you know darkness wielding characters i think it's an exploration of these character studies of how people use the force like it said it's not this big Good and evil, I think it's this inner working of of power. It's interesting. To, to be honest, I, I love the vagueness of that, to be honest. I love the kind of grey of, of that conversation of those two sides. I feel like the most Sith never actually followed the rule of two. They always had assassins and apprentices uh, they were moulding on the side. It's a good point. I mean, freaking Palpatine, like, disobeyed the rule of two. Because, well, well technically, but also not technically as well. Because there was two Sith, there was Plagueis and Palpatine, and then he was like, "Hey, can I, Morley boy? Can you like come train here for a second, just, just, just in case, just in case?" Uh, so that's technically not two. Um, so yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, it starts to sow seeds of the galaxy mistrust and Christian and Jedi. Yes, 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 yes. It's sowing the seeds of these thoughts, the cracks. Like, by the end of the show, it's not this, like, the Jedi or Roba, because that happens in the prequels. I think it'll be here or where the cracks lie. Because we get into Phantom, and the cracks are there. And I think this show is showing how those cracks form. That's that's my uh, idea. Things are not Sith. Like, Maul was not majority of the time until Palps killed Plagueis. Exactly. Acolytes, Assassins. Yeah. It's not, that's why I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's this Sith uprising. People are like, oh, it's only two, but it's like, mm, these aren't really Sith kind of they're just dark and it's that exploration of that <sighs> man i'm getting out of breath mm, 100 percent. yeah yeah i get what you're getting at but it's like i d i don't think we're exploring palpatine's experience with this and he in my opinion is the linchpin he's the center of that fall, and I think because we're not focusing on Palpatine's POV of this era, that it's this microcosm onto the side. That's my thought. Yeah, right? There's so much happening. There's so much happening today. Goodness me. Uh, the rule of two has pretty much become the rule of two per clan. Yeah, true. That is true. But yeah, we do have Bad Batch tonight. I just realized it's even on the screen. Bad Batch tonight. Um... <laughs> How do we segue that? Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I mean, just talking about it, it's kind of interesting how they're releasing uh, this hard, the Acolyte stuff. I mean, I know it's only two months away, but still, it's like, you couldn't have waited till Bad Batch was over? Let's just focus on Bad Batch. Uh, and then, you know, 
get, and then get to the hyperback backlight. But oh well, oh well. Uh, yeah, what do we got? Six hours? Six hours, give or take? I know, yeah. It's gonna be good. Only one episode tonight. Episode eight. We're gonna have a watch party tonight. So I, I think we, I mean, I said 11.45, but we might do it even half an hour earlier. Because we won't have our proper pre-show. We might have it at the watch party. Uh, but I'm keeping Bad Batch. It's gonna be cool. Haven't even started? Oh my god, you have to. Season three has been the best so far. It's really, really good. We've been loving it. We have been loving it here at the at the race side, so we've been having a good time with it. You gotta catch up. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, but man. Acolyte, bad batch. What do you want to say about bad batch? I think uh what, what what's it called? The Identity Crisis. Uh, finish your homework, I can watch Bad Batch. By the way, we don't talk about how I did on my maths test. We can. Do you want it? <laughs> I love it. No worries, Sinister. Uh, watch it sometime tomorrow, how the watch party goes well. Me too, hope so. Hope so, but no worries. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Like, we're loving, are we loving Bad Batch so far? Let me know. Let me know. So we're excited for episode 8. The last ones were so good. I agree, Donna. I think, I think you know, it's just been such really interesting storytelling. Uh, I mean, talk about a microcosm of his character stories. Bad Batch is doing very well. Uh, that episode is later here, right? That's okay. Math is that math is in my strong point. Uh, they find they have found their stride in season three. By far the best season shaping so far. It's the most consistent. It's really really cool. Really really cool. Uh, it's time we get some ventures to finally show up on the Bad Batch. Maybe it's on. Maybe it's at this time. Maybe maybe this episode, like this point in the in the season this feels maybe right for adventurous shop so maybe tonight we shall see all right ben off to doing good stream tonight we are halfway through bad batch everybody and it, it was a good discussion on this trailer tonight very level had a good job community i know you guys are legends lots of different opinions but we got through it together so i thank you so much uh like what ben's saying for everyone's fantastic thoughts and being super kind and respectful about it appreciate it as always uh, we'll catch you next time, Ben. Have a good e uh, evening, man. Appreciate ya. But yeah, our identity crisis. I think it's gonna be. It could be. It could be a adventurous episode. I mean, our master's meeting. Uh, Julie was throwing around some thoughts of. Uh, who do we think? It could be Wolf's identity crisis. Uh, my thought it could be Amiga's identity crisis. Uh, someone I suggested it could be Emery's identity crisis. Uh, it's true. It could be Hunters. It could be Wreck. It could be any of the Bad Batches. It's interesting. 100%. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was late too. I was uh, too busy uh, wrestling Sag. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, you'll probably talk about this in another stream, but I was pleased to hear the Ventress actress uh, say this was only the beginning. Yeah, I know. We haven't, we actually haven't talked too much about that, but yeah, I want to find that interview that she did because, yeah, she did say that. So that's exciting. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully more Star Wars animation to come. We all Star Wars animation, it just gets better every year and every season and every show. It gets better and better and better. Uh, so I really hope that this isn't the end for Star Wars animation and particularly v Ventress in stories, hopefully too. Uh, it's time for Bad Batch to fang it uh, until the Zillow Beast wrecks Mount Tandas. I love that that's the theory that everyone's, like, loving so much so far. Like, yes! freaking Zillow wrecks Tantas. Let's do it. Godzilla style. Let's do it. Let us do it. Oi! That's so cool! Amazing! On the Discord. So, so cool. I know, I haven't played that in years. we got to do it sometime. Well, we got some spare time, eventually, where there's not 50 shows happening and trailers dropping. we have to play that sometime. Ventress rides the Zillow Beast. Oh my god, like how Boba rides the um, the Rancor in Book of Boba Fett. Ventress rides the Zillow Beast. That would be sick and kind of hilarious. But I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Alright gang, we'll start to wrap it up there for today. We'll leave more of this uh, Bad Batch hype and discussion. I'm going to change I'm gonna change the banner actually slightly because we'll probably go live half an hour before. Uh, seeing as we didn't have a proper... Uh, pre-show for the episode today. So we'll be going live uh, again at ungodly times for you. I'm so sorry. Uh, 11.30 uh, Pacific and 2.30 Eastern. Uh, but I feel like we're pulling the weight because I got up at 2 a.m. last night to do the trailer. So we'll one for one. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, but make sure you're coming back uh, through tonight uh, to watch that. If you can't stay up, make sure you're tuning in uh, tomorrow for our 
uh, scheduled episode discussions dropping at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll be going through the episode, uh, the Bad Batch episode of tonight. If you can't, stay up. But we're going to have a great watch party. It's always a good time. We have some banter, have some fun, watch together. Uh, if you are considering staying up, make sure you're doing it with us here. We're having a great time in those live chats. It's fantastic. Uh, 2.30 Eastern. 2.30 Eastern. Yeah, what a fantastic, fantastic stream. All right, Cam, well, thank you so much again for a fantastic discussion. Let's get that outro music going. Uh, appreciate you again. I, I can't wait to, you know, the more snippets of Acolyte that come out uh, to get even further in depth of discussion about it. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, make sure you're plugging into all of the things that are happening here at the race side. Bad Batch Watch Party tonight, discussion tomorrow, even more over the weekend. I'm loving this. That was fun. Hate it or love it. We're at least we're talking Star Wars. It's a fantastic time. I appreciate all your thoughts and opinions in the discussion today. And as always, make sure you're always choosing the race side. What does this comment even mean? <laughs> it's never rough. My apprentice. I am the Bandu. I can speak whatever. I am the one in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Kane and Janice. Spare time, hundred percent. Bendu like, you know what? I'm just gonna when the episodes come out, I'm gonna like insert my Bendu voice into the episodes. Be like, oh, did everyone see the Bendu appear in the acolyte? And it's just like a scene from acolyte being like, I am the Bendu. And it's just me. I am the one in the background. I gotta put an echo on the voice though. I gotta, I'm actually, I'm, I'm literally gonna go away from the stream and try and figure out how to do, <laughs> how to do like the effects of the Bendu. Oh my God. And you know what? I'm not even gonna do it for the trailer. I can't wait for the show. And be like, hey, hey everyone. Did everyone like catch the Bendu's voice in the trailer? And it's just me. Caden Jettis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I am the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a moment in the trailer. You know, like the the quiet part at the start, where all the all the Padawans are sitting down, and the and the Jedi is like, the soul guy is like, "What do you see?" Um, and before the kid answers, I'm just, just gonna be made me like, <laughs> "The Manu is in your mind." <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'll do one of the kids saying, I see the Bendu, and it's just me being like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh iconic, man. Iconic. Okay, what, what the hell are we doing? Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's get out of here. I'll see you next time. See you tonight. See you in six hours. Love ya. Bye. <laughs>